Hey, this is Ellis with The Verge checking out Airtime, which is kind of like chat roulette, but a lot more legit, and it's from Sean Parker and Sean Fanning, uh, the guys behind Napster, so let's check it out. Before you start Airtime, you'll notice that you need 1.5 megabits a second of bandwidth, which is actually a lot. It's more than most uh, video clients would need, but that's because the quality is actually pretty good. You can't do group chat like you could with Google Plus Hangouts but uh, the one-on-one -on -one chat is pretty great quality. When you first get into airtime, you'll see yourself in a box on the left, your name, where you are, some interests, uh, which you can use to find people who like the same things as you and chat with them. You can see videos you most recently posted to Facebook or watched on YouTube, so you can uh, watch videos with the person you're chatting with. And then below that, you can see achievements, which we're not really sure what that does yet. In the right sidebar, you can search your contacts. You can see who's online using the uh, play button right here. So if somebody's online in Facebook chat, they are going to show up in this list, as well as anybody you have chatted with and liked and added to your buddy list. Once you've taken a look around the app, you can click talk to somebody to just get started right then and there. You can check or uncheck people nearby, common interests, friends of friends. For now, we will leave those all checked and see who we come up with. Hey, how's it going? Good. How you doing? It looks like we both live in New York and grew up in Michigan. What are you up to in New York? Uh, I'm actually doing a hands-on video right now for a, a tech news site called The Verge. Have you heard of it? Sounds familiar. Yeah. I work for a tech startup. Oh, which one? We cover tech startups. Nice. Uh, Capture. K-A-P-T-U-R dot com. Sweet. Well, it was nice to meet you, and now you're plugged on The Verge. <laughs> Thanks, See you later. Man. So that's airtime, and it's really a lot like chat roulette, except uh, it's more intentional, and uh, the quality of the video is better. And it's interesting because when you sign on and talk to somebody, you can see interests, which is something that chat roulette never offered. So they want this to be a way for you to video chat with your friends, but also a way for you to chat with people around the world about things that you care about.